Hey guys, I'm starting off with freshly co-washed, detangled hair, and I prepped my hair in twists so that this can be easier. So I'm going to pin up the twist so I can start in the back of my hair. So I'm going to start with one twist at a time, and I'm going to spray in some of the Talia YG Shea Coco Leave-In Conditioner and I'm going to comb my hair out once more. I've already detangled my hair. So taking about one inch sections to start, I'm going to apply some of the Talia YG Natural Hair Curling Cream. I really love this stuff. It helps to define the curls for 4A to 4 4C hair and then I'm going to apply the Manoy oil by Talia YG and I love how thick this oil is it definitely helps with smoothing out the curls and defining so I was going to do a Bantu knot out but pause this is going to be an updated curly hair routine so I'm going to be applying my favorite gel which is the Eco Styler gel to the section and I don't know if you guys notice anything, but I'll let you guys keep watching and maybe you'll catch on. So I'm gonna twist up the section just to help define the curls even more. This is not really a twist out because I'm defining my curls first and then I am twisting the hair. Normally I would just apply the cream and just comb it out and detangle, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep moving up applying some of the Talia YG curl cream and I'm going to apply the Manoy oil and I'm going to follow that up with the Eco Solar Gel have you guys caught on yet? so you just want to twist it not all the way to the end and you want to Give the ends a little twirl just to lock the curl in place. Spank it. and then I'm going to apply the gel. And here's where you will see what I'm talking about. Pause, you guys. Look at that white flake. When you guys see those white flakes, that means you need to just stop where you're at and just put the gel down. You guys know how finicky Eco Styler Gel is. It does not work with every hair product, so I had to just nix that, and I'm gonna use something else so you can see those white balls on your fingers and when you see those that means it's a no-no so yo mama not your mother's kinky mood curl defining hair cream is what I will be using in place of the Eco Styler gel so my hair is drying out so I sprayed it with a little water still using the Talia YG natural curl cream and the Minoy oil this stuff is bomb okay super moisturizing and then we're going to add the curl cream, which definitely helps with frizz. Here's a slow-mo of those curls. So we're just going to continue with twisting the hair up and leaving about one inch to twirl around your fingers. So I'm just repeating the same steps. Now, the last time I did a curly hair routine video, which by the way reached over 150,000 views. So shout out to all of y'all who watched that video. But that video did create some controversial topics and discussions. Um, on that video, a lot of people were saying that naturals uh, or the natural hair community is obsessed with curls. And I don't think they mean the natural hair community. I think they mean women with 4B, 4C hair because we all define our curls, whether you have 3A, 3B, 3C, um, 4A, 4B, 4C, we all use products to define our curls. But the difference is with 3A to 4A, you might not have to use as much product because there's a more definite curl. 
Now, when you have 4B, 4C hair, you have to use a lot more product in order to get the curls to define how you want them to. So it seems like you're trying to use so much product to get something that you don't have, which is false. Just because we have 4B, 4C hair doesn't mean that we don't have a curl pattern, okay? Um, our hair is just really, really frizzy and our curls are hidden inside of the frizz. So we have to use um, heavier creams and, and oils and gels to define our curls. Now, more times than not, we all want what we don't have. And in my case, I have curls, as you guys can see. So I can't unwant what I have to not have what I don't. So I say all of that to say, do what works for you. So I'm finished this side, so I'm going to move on to the next side. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and enjoy this tutorial. I think I talked enough. I will come back towards the end of this tutorial. I'm back so as you guys can see I have most of my heat damage and my color damage in the front of my hair which by the way the front of my hair has always been more loose than the rest of my hair so what makes it even worse is the heat and color damage but we're working on that we're working on it so I'm on my last section and as you guys can see the product is doing an amazing job with defining my curls So as you can see, the ends of my hair in the back are semi-healthy. They're getting there. And the front still needs some improvement. So I'm just gonna pin it up because I'm gonna let my hair air dry overnight. And when I come back, you'll see the results. So my hair is completely dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin up my twists. They look kinda cute actually. And I want to take some of the It's a 10 Miracle Styling Serum. And this just helps to prevent frizz while I'm taking down the twist. Now, as you guys can see, these are my natural curls. They're just more defined. It's not actually a twist out. My twist outs do not come out like this because it's a different technique that you use for twist outs. This is still my natural curl pattern. It's just more defined. So I'm just breaking up the curls and 
when I'm breaking up the curls, I just kind of like let them uh, separate naturally because you know how your hair forms in its own clusters. Like each section of your hair has a little family. Like they have a little family situation going on. And I don't try to force it to separate where it doesn't want to separate. I just separate and let it fall where my natural curls would be. So I'm just going to finish taking down the twist and I'm being very careful not to rip my end and I'm being very careful not to cause too much uh, frizz. You see how like the curls are just falling apart because those are where the natural curls would be. So I'm almost finished separating my hair and it's looking pretty good minus the little straight ends. But here is my hair after taking down all of the twists. I had about 40 twists in my hair which is a lot. And I'm just going to kind of like part my hair off to the side. I should have left it in the middle part, but I'm just so used to wearing my hair in the deep side part that um, I always just wear it like that. And I'm just going to take my comb and lift my roots so my hair can be more fuller. I cannot find my picks. That's why I'm using my comb. But this is pretty much the result of my hair. I absolutely love it. It came out better than I expected. So I'm going to take some of the It's a 10 Miracle Finishing Spray. You guys know I always use a hairspray in my curly hair. You don't have to use this. You can skip this step, but it helps to hold my curls. So here are the results. This definitely helps to camouflage the heat damage, I will say. So I still need to do some work on the back, but these are the final results. Thanks for watching.